Hi folks, Marcus here at Countrywood Smoke HQ and today I'm going to show you how to make a basic dry rub for your barbecue food. Okay, so there's a million barbecue dry rubs out there. Here, I'm gonna show you a quick way that I like to make a basic dry rub, and you can take this whatever way you want. You can tailor them exactly how you like, but this is gonna give you the basic building blocks on how I think you can make a nice dry rub. I've got some salt, coarse ground black pepper, and demerara sugar, roughly equal amounts here. An amount of salt, fine sea salt, an amount of coarse black pepper. So if you use a small pot like that, or a bigger pot like that, it's the same amount of salt and black pepper and sugar you use for those three. I'm gonna put my demerara sugar in the middle, and as you can see, I've got three equal size mounds there, and I'm doing this purely by eye. I'm not weighing out, so eye amounts of these three. And that's your basic start. You can take that so many different directions. What I'm gonna do is add a few other things to this. It's probably about a quarter of the amount of those ingredients. This is coarse garlic granules here. Don't use the fine powder of garlic it's too fine and it clumps up. So you want the, the coarse garlic granules, which are about the same size as the black pepper there. What I'm gonna go for next is balance my garlic with a similar size amount of smoked paprika. That's probably about a quarter of the size of those and the same size as the garlic there. I like a little pop of chili. So these are ancho chili flakes. You can use chipotle powder. I quite like a little pop of heat from these. And I also like a bit of herbiness. This is fine herbs here. And I teach this basic barbecue dry rub method on my barbecue classes here. And people get to try them. Those ingredients there are gonna give you some amazing flavor. So we're gonna mix them up and have a taste because it's very important to taste your dry rub before you cook with it to see that it's nicely balanced and how you like it and that's the key is the balance you don't want anything too salty too sweet too hot I think getting the right balance for a barbecue rub is really important this will work really well this one on pork and chicken vegetables so that is a wonderful dry rub I'm gonna have a quick taste I've done this a million times so should be pretty good that's lovely. It hits your mouth and it's got the saltiness slightly forward. And then you get a bit of sweet sugar on different parts of your mouth. A bit of the, the earthiness and the smokiness from the paprika. Again, take this whichever way you want now. But that is how I make a dry rub. And that is going to make some great barbecue food. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Smash that button over there. Subscribe to my channel. Let me know you like what I'm doing. It's all appreciated. Cheers. Cheers.